Hello everyone, welcome to part 168 of multi vendor e commerce series in Laravel 9 and 10. And in this video, we are going to work on the website security. So, website security is very important for every e commerce website. And in this video, we are going to work on the preventing disabled products to order and preventing out of stock products to order. Okay, we are going to prevent these two things by placing the order. So, uh, it may be the case like. Uh, if the user is ordering for one product like uh, if i'm going to add one product in my cart uh, like this one with the product uh, uh, having two id and i'm going to add one of the product with the medium size okay the products get added and uh, you can see i'm going to remove the another product okay so uh, this is the medium size of product and uh, see its id is two i'm going to open this product here as well uh, with the two id and i'm going to check its quantity and it's the medium and it's uh, you can see it it is having the two stock right now okay so if in case what happens uh, whether the uh, admin disable the stock okay disable the this attribute from here or or even the complete product gets disabled not even this one the complete product get disabled one case second case if he disable its attribute and third case if it uh, make its stock as zero okay while making the payment he is about to click on place order but at this time the order uh, the product is gone away the product is disabled or out of product whatever so what will happen at the time of place order we need to redirect the user back to the card page with the error message that the product has been disabled okay and we need to remove this product uh, as well we will not show this product again on the website so this thing we need to do this is very crucial point uh, whenever your website become famous e-commerce website when the lot of orders are coming then it may be the case that the user may have ordered for the disabled product or user may have ordered for the out of stock product okay then at that time you need to refund the money of the user okay so that is uh, will give the bad impact on your brand okay so you need to make sure uh, these two points are really crucial you we need to prevent disabled products to order and we need to prevent out of stock products to order okay so out of stock in terms of attribute out of stock in terms of its stock uh, in the attributes table and disabled maybe in the terms of its sizes or the product itself like if uh, the admin disable the product itself like this is the second product he may disable this one like this okay though so the product gets completely disabled so let's work on this thing i am going to modify uh, here get but i first of all i'm going to create the new function i'm going to close this one uh, the last uh, in the last video i want to tell you once again that uh, we able to reduce the product stock both in cod as well as in the paypal we able to reduce the stock okay uh, so uh, both for the cod as well as the prepaid we need to reduce the stock at that time and uh, for the future payment gateways also we will add the script for reducing the stock okay so i'm going to close all the files here so that we can work on this new thing first of all i'm going to create uh, two function in product model and here uh, one function to get the uh, actual status of the product that the product is disabled or enabled okay product uh, so, so the public static function get product status here I need to pass the product ID and on the on the basis of this product ID we are going to check its status sorry we will get product status product select status Okay, and I'm going to compare with the product ID to 
get its status get product status okay so we are going to return the status and one more function we are going to create a delete card product in case the product is disabled or out of stock we are going to delete it from the card delete card product okay we are going to delete this product from the user card okay and here once again and we will simply delete it nothing to return in this one just we are required uh, here product id exists in the card and we will simply delete uh, the product with the product id okay like this fine and now we are going to update the checkout function at the products controller uh, where we are placing the order in checkout function uh, so uh, we can uh, need to do in the post method see before doing anything we can start uh, the website security here okay I will add here website security uh, so we are already having the get card items array here so uh, we are going to use this array once again get card items okay so I'm going to use this one get card items like this okay so here I'm going to add here prevent disable products products to order prevent disable products to order fine and here i'm going to fetch the product status first of all from the function that we have already created in product model we will get that function get product status c this is the function that we have just created get product status okay I'm, uh, and here i'm going to pass the uh, product id that is located inside the dollar item here like uh, here also we have used the same thing so here uh, we are going to pass this product id uh, to fetch the status and if product status is zero in case the product is disabled then its status is zero we know the uh, zero or one and here we can see like if the product is disabled here we can check in the product table okay and here we can see uh, that in status uh, you can see the one or zero and if it is zero then it means the product is disabled okay and if the product is disabled we are going to redact back the user to the card page but first of all we will delete that product as well from the card okay then we are going to use this another function delete card product okay this is the function that we are going to use to delete the product okay so uh, same product id and we're going to send here to delete the product from the card and then we are going to uh, redact back the uh, card with the error message that one of the product is disabled product is disabled please try again please try again okay like this so this is the error message uh, that we will uh, uh, return with the uh, return back the user with this error message okay return card with this error message with error message this one okay so now we can try okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to disable this one this product uh, that is having the product id 2 i'm going to disable this one like this okay so now i'm going to try see user is going to try placing the order with this one place order and see one of the product is disabled please try again it removes the product as well okay so it's working fine now the in the next case we are going to prevent the out of stock products uh, we are we're going to make its stock uh, as zero okay so that thing we are going to uh, do okay so same product i'm going to add here i will add go in men and uh, see products 
and here I am going to add this one with the medium side add to card with the one quantity view card okay we will go to the checkout so I'm going to see it is having the two stock I'm going to make it zero okay but before that I am going to add here uh, like uh, uh, we are going to prevent the get product stock uh, so uh, so here uh, if uh, we are already having the function okay uh, we will simply check uh, here prevent sold out sold out products to order okay so here uh, we will get the get product stock here we are already having the function get product stock here i'm going to check get product uh, see maybe it's in product attribute uh, get product stock here it is okay so this time we will fetch from the uh, attributes table okay uh, so I'm going to use this one dollar get product stock dollar get product stock here and we're going to fetch from the product attribute get product stock and we need to pass here product ID, ID as well as the size size is already we are having here uh, like this dollar item size we are going to pass these two things to get the get product stock okay and if uh, this stock is equal to equal to zero product stock equal to equal to zero then once again we are going to show the error message and going to delete the product i'm going to repeat this one uh, with the different error message this time and this time we need uh, to write here one of the product is sold out okay so now we're going to test this case uh i'm going to make it like uh, make it zero okay update attributes here you can see we have updated the medium side attribute to zero of this product id2 okay so i'm going to try with this one and it must show the error that the product is sold out let's see see one of the product is sold out please try again so it's working fine okay so like this another condition uh, and that is attribute like if i'm going to make it back to two product uh, to stock and if the attribute is, dis is disabled okay i'm going to update it okay uh, see now uh, the attribute is disabled now this time so i'm going to check with the disabled attribute so one more function we are going to make uh, we are going to check the get attribute status okay we can also get the attribute status here like we are getting the product status we will get here the get attribute status and for attribute status as well we are going to compare this time in the uh, products attribute table okay and here uh, the site as well as the product id okay so two things we are going to pass here site as well as the product id product id we are passing here and one more thing is required that is the dollar size and now this time we will check here okay so we are going to create this function not here we will create this function uh, in the products attribute okay because earlier function also we have created in product attribute like get product stock here get attribute status okay product id as well as size and here we will get the get attribute status so same products attribute will come up here and we will check the status here fine that is and we are going to compare with the uh product id as well as this site okay so both we are going to compare product id as well as this site okay fine finally uh, this uh, uh, status we are going to send back here okay so we are going to add one more here i am going to copy this one once again and here prevent here disabled attributes well disabled attributes to order this is the third condition that we are checking here or uh, here uh, we will get attribute status get attribute status here 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 and i'm going to replace product attribute okay so one of the product is disabled okay one of the attribute is disabled So now we are going to test this case as well and I have made this attribute you can see uh, first of all I'm going to add this one okay so let me add 
product with having two ID. I'm going to add this medium attribute and we'll disable it later on. See medium. I'm taking one product so, so that the confusion will not be there. Okay. So now we will click on proceed to checkout. Now I will make it uh, attributes, uh, disable this attribute. Okay. With the medium. And now I'm going to try placing the order for this one. Okay. With the medium, medium attribute is now disabled. Click on place order. And this time some error has come. Uh, we need to check what is the error exactly. See, uh, this one get attribute status equal to equal to zero. Uh, so we need to see here, uh, get product status, uh, get attribute status. Okay, so here uh, we not able to copy this one correctly. Uh, I think, uh, where is the issue? Okay, so here is the issue, get attribute here, it will come get attribute status. Okay, now it must work fine. I'm going to refresh continue and here you can see the error message one of the product allocated attribute is disabled please try again okay because we have disabled the attribute okay so all the conditions we have added uh, both product disabled attribute disabled as well as the product sold out okay uh, product out of stock so all the conditions are working now uh, you can add these condition at your end as well to make your e-commerce website secure okay so if you will have any confusion you can surely contact me so uh, you can always subscribe the channel to get more updates okay, uh, so you uh, just require to open the youtube.com stack developers and uh, currently we are also uh, working on the laravel 10 series as well so please also start following it every time you will get something new okay so please also follow the laravel 10 tutorial playlist we have already started working on this one you can you can just uh, follow this one from here laravel 10 tutorial or you can also follow from here okay we are first making the admin panel and after that we will start working on the new website okay so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye